I'm standing outside the old Crystal Ballroom in St Kilda on Fitzroy Street. I could talk about Fitzroy Street and the music venues for an hour. I could talk about the Crystal Ballroom for two hours, but uh, I'll try and keep this short. Dolores San Miguel started booking this place in 1978, calling it the Winter Garden Room, and it became a regular punk rock gig. Then Laurie Richards took over the booking, changed the name to the Crystal Ballroom, and uh, that's when it really started to take off, and over the next few years it just grew and grew and grew. You'd have bands like The Boys Next Door playing here on a Tuesday night and getting 400 people. And I wish I could uh, show you what it was like inside, but it, uh, it no longer has the uh, faded glamour that was the original Crystal Ballroom. You came in the entrance here, paid your money, there was a cage bar to that side. The back, there was a staircase, with a big stained glass window leading up. At the back of the building on the first floor, there was an old ballroom with a sprung floor and a big high stage. Very run down, but uh, that was just perfect for the times. And later on, they actually started opening side rooms as well, so that there was, you'd have a band playing in the ballroom, you'd also have a band playing uh, just to the right. And then they even opened a third bit at the back to the right, uh, like a separate uh, venue thing. So at one stage, I think there was, you could have up to three bands playing at the same time in the building. Um, it uh, got to the stage, I was doing a newsletter in 1979, a monthly newsletter for the, the venue, and uh, I even tried running a record shop here, but uh, got sick of having drunk punks running off with the records and uh, stopped that idea. Uh, it went on for, a number of years, changed hands a few times, and then they even, I seem to remember bands playing right at the back of the building in a completely separate area, but uh, my memory fades after about, sort of about 1982.